With me now is Congressman Randy Forbes, a member of the House Armed Services Committee. Good evening, Congressman. Thank you, Judge. Great right. to be with you. All right. Congressman, how do these cuts jeopardize our national security? Well, Judge, you have to put them in context. They didn't just start with these cuts. From almost the moment this administration um, came into office, they began dismantling the greatest military we've ever known. They have had five years in a row of major cuts. They call them reforms that have taken place. And even before sequestration, they cut out $778 billion out of national defense. You mentioned what happens to the Army, but the Air Force is now saying they may not be able to continue to guarantee that we'll have air dominance in a conflict. If you look at the Navy in 2007, we were able to meet 90 percent of our combatant commanders' requirements around the globe. This year, we'll only be uh, able to meet 43, and the curve lines get worse every year that we go out. All right, so, Congressman, is this just another example in a very long list of this administration's dislike for our military? Well, I don't know if you can call it a dislike, but you certainly have to say uh, it is not setting a priority. Judge, if we get defense wrong, none of the rest of this matters. And you are absolutely accurate in saying that this administration cannot articulate a national strategic defense posture right now. And that's important because our allies need to know what it is so they can come alongside of us with their acquisition and procurement decisions, but also so that our opponents and enemies know. When you talked about the Ukraine just a few moments ago, remember it was the Russians that told uh, President Obama, take all of your missile defense systems out of Europe. He said, yes, sir, took them out, put them on the back of the Navy, gave the Navy no additional assets. Now they're proposing to cut out 11 cruisers. That's half of our muscle in that cruiser fleet that they're just going to mothball and perhaps drop down one carrier. It just doesn't make any strategic sense. And then, and then you've got President Obama saying there are going to be costs for military intervention. I mean, what is he thinking? Is, it bi is he bipolar? I don't know if he's bipolar, but I will tell you this. I don't think you have uh, President Putin exactly shaking in his boots tonight uh, <laughs> when he looks at, at what uh, the president has been doing. And, you know, it, it's comical, but yet it's frightening because one of the weaknesses of this administration, they no longer have any credibility with any world leader around the globe. But secondly, they don't have credibility with the American people anymore. And that's becoming what we heard uh, when, uh, some testimony before the Judiciary Committee uh, just this week saying we're actually reaching a constitutional tipping point in this country, which should have us all very, very concerned. All right. And finally, these uh, cuts, what do they mean for America and your constituents specifically? Well, it's, it, my constituents are America, and when you start talking about national defense, it all comes down to uh, the risk that we're willing to put on our men and women in uniform. If you ask anybody in uniform, he'll tell you these cuts mean that we'll have fewer people coming back if we have a conflict, and we're more likely to get in a conflict because the way you stay out of conflicts is to have a strong national defense. All right. Congressman Forbes, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Thank you, Judge. All right.